fish is allowable ensure that your fish is dried ensure your fish fish is dried i don't know why you will come with fresh fish all the way from nigeria to canada is there something wrong with you <laughs> hi guys my name is niela and in today's video i'm going to be sharing i'm going to be doing the part two of the video i started a couple of days ago so guys if you want to know what i'm talking about <laughs> keep watching and don't go anywhere <laughs> So guys, in the first video, I talked about things you can come with, your documents and um, clothes and the rest of them. Then in this video, I'm going to be sharing food stuff or food items you can bring with you to Canada. Yes, a lot of people say come with your Nigerian food stuff, but not all Nigerian food items are actually allowed in Canada. So I'm just going to be listing the things you can come with and how you can come with them. So you can come with Gary whether it's jebu gari yellow gari any kind of gari sugar coated non-sugar coated you can come with gari i came with gari you can come with you can come with your gari you can come with yam just make sure the yams are small small or you buy big ones and cut them into small smaller pieces not really very small maybe you can buy a big yam and cut it into four or five so that it can fit into your bag and it doesn't you know take so much weight on one side of your bag then you can come with beans but another downside to coming with beans is that you have to pick your beans make sure you pick it and not even picking the beans not even picking the shaft of the beans you have to make sure there are no weevils in the beans because if you land and they decide to set your bag i mentioned in my other video that we're lucky our bags were not searchable if they if they search your bags and they find a single weevil in your beans, they may end up taking end up taking that beans from you, and you won't, you know, get into Canada with the beans. So make sure you pick shaft of the beans, and also make sure that beans is clear of weevil. You can put the beans in an oven if you're worried that weevil is going to be there, and heat it up just a little bit so that the heat kills the weevil. Then you can sieve away the weevil from the beans and come with it to canada you can also come with beans powder if you are a moi moi and a cara lover because you may not be able to afford to get a blender immediately but you can come with the powder and make your akara make your moi moi then you can also come with your you can come with fish but fish has to be dried so you can come with your okboroko you can come with your azokbo azokbo is dried fish you can come with the okboroko the easy okboroko and the normal like the rest of the body you can come with um pepper soup spice very very important if you know you're going to because now it's very cold and you can actually have pepper soup with rice or just have pepper soup just to warm yourself up so you can come with your pepper soup spice is also very important you can come with pepper <laughs> come with pepper or cameroon pepper red pepper any kind of pepper so as long as it is dried and grinded make sure you grind your pepper before coming you can also come with crayfish make sure your crayfish is grinded as well because you wouldn't want to come with your crayfish plain and they end up seeing things inside the crayfish so it's better it's grinded and even if there are things in the crayfish it's also grinded as well but you can pick your crayfish or make sure you grind them before coming you can also come with leaves when i say leaves i don't mean fresh leaves make sure you dry them very well because coming with fresh leaves may mean like you want to come and start growing things here and they don't want that so you me i came with dried leaves in as much as yes i wasn't searched but coming with dried leaves i didn't come with so much what i came with was okazi and i bought it in um auto market in lagos and i dried it so whatever it is you're carrying make sure you air it down in lagos before you eventually pack it up before traveling so i would advise you can buy your things two weeks before the, your travel date so that one they are still fresh and so it gives you ample time to dry before you pack them into a, a bag because they are going to be in a bag for a long time maybe like one or two days max if you're unlucky not to get a place immediately where you can begin to scatter your things so come with um i came with dried or make sure it is dried properly 
I also came with dried utazi and also dried uziza leaves. So I dry them very well and um, for the utazi. I dry them well, then I, you know, um, I don't know what to do, but I did this. <laughs> I did this so that they become, you know, they, they get, they become in a powdery form or powdery substance. Then you can also come with black soap. If you use black soap, you can come with black soap. Maybe you make black soaps. You can come with your black soaps. If you want, you can come with egusi. Egusi, make sure it is grinded. Whatever thing you're coming with that you know you have to grind here, please save yourself the stress and grind it before coming. It will even be more allowed grinded than coming with its form because it will feel you want to come and, you know grow the egg see here so make sure it is grinded i came with um also also is um something they used to make egg see soup to make it thicker and make the egg see come together for the anambra people i know you know what i mean people in imo state abia state i don't know if you know what also means but i came with dried or four as well grinded so like i was saying make sure your soup items are grinded if you can grind them please it is a must you grind them I came with um I came with bottles of granite. Make sure the granite is fried. Don't come with fresh granite because they will feel you want to come and cultivate it in their land. So I came with um if you can you can come with inro, but if you're coming with inro or ogiri, make sure you wrap it well. When I mean wrap, you need to wrap the living daylight out of it because that shit smells. So if you are an inro lover, you can buy in room in Lagos or wherever you're staying and wrap it very well to avoid the smell. I know people say coffee can repel smells. So you can pour coffee in your foodstuff bag before coming or you buy camphor. But I don't know how camphor is going to be being in the bag filled with foodstuff. It might just end up changing the taste of the foodstuff. So you can come with um, osoji, peanut butter. That's what they use to eat garden egg. You can grind that one and come with it. I came with it. You can come with your shea butter. You can come with a bacha. I came with a bacha because it's dried and it wasn't the cassava was not fresh. So you can come with dried bitter leaf as well. Dried bitter leaf washed and dried. They also sell this in the market. You can also come with suya spice. Very important. Very very important. You can make your homemade suya in your oven in your houses, or you can grill meat and pour the suya spice on it. And hey, you have your suya. You can grill chicken and pour the suya spice on it. Hey, you have your chicken suya. You can come with your. You can come with palm oil, but coming with palm oil, there is a downside to it because of um, it spilling over. So sometimes they may not even allow you to bring it from the Nigerian airport. But if you're going to come with palm oil from Nigeria, please freeze the palm oil. When I mean freeze, make sure the thing block inside the freezer before you bring it. And ensure you wrap it so well so that it doesn't begin to melt off as soon as you get to the airport. Like for me, I came with palm oil and I have been freezing it or I froze it for four to five days max. I think or even almost a week then um, things you can come with as well you can come with um, dried ginger grinded I came with dried ginger that was grinded I bought fresh ginger I dried them then I grinded them then you can also come with um, curry powder you can come with your seasoning but ensure that whatever seasoning you're coming with doesn't have chicken on it so let me go down to the things that are not really accepted in canada you cannot come with meat any form fresh dried fried frozen whatever form of meat you can't come with it you can't come in with chicken dried frozen broad roasted whatever you can't come with it and your seasoning should not contain anything your seasoning should not be chicken seasoning so if you're buying maggi Make sure you're buying the regular Maggi cubes, not Maggi chicken. If you're using nut to cook, make sure it is regular nut cubes and not nut chicken. If you love to use Benny, 
because there's a chicken you know sign on the body they may not allow you to carry it into the country but i know some people always have a way around it i didn't come with anything chicken because i did not want troubles i did not i did not want anything i was going to delay uh leaving the airport so i didn't even bother come with anything but i know some people say what they do is that they tear off the um they open the pack of their chicken seasoning and pour it into a ziplock I know some people do that they get away with it maybe if they are not searched or the dogs patrolling doesn't sniff their bags some people do that i also heard some people come with indomie as well but you know indomie chicken flavor has the chicken you know sign on it so most people what they do is that they remove the wrapper from the indomie noodles and they put it in a transparent you know bag or in a ziplock and bring it in and probably they just throw the spice away and probably use maggi here to cook so you can empty your spice if you want and put them into a ziplock or a transparent bag and also come come with it so milk is not allowed it is 100 percent not allowed in canada so if you're coming with your if you're a fan of dano milk pig, pig milk don't even bother because they will seize it from you as soon as you get to the Canadian airport. So I think that is much that is pretty much about what and what you can bring and what you cannot bring, you know, concerning food items and food stuff. Milo is allowed. A lot of people come in with Milo. Milo is allowed, but milk is not allowed. Meat is not allowed. Anything chicken is not allowed. Chicken flavor, chicken anything. Don't even bother bringing both fish is allowable ensure that your fish is dried ensure your fish fish is dried i don't know why you will come with fresh fish all the way from nigeria to canada is there something wrong with you <laughs> so guys i've come to the end of this video i hope i hope and hope and hope you're able to learn one thing or two for those who have gotten their copr congratulations to you guys and i wish you a safe landing here in canada I'll see you all in my next video. Do have a fabulous, fabulous day ahead. Don't forget to subscribe, share, like this video. Bye, guys.